During the lead up in the process to get ready for the fight, I thought he wasn't getting in my head, and he might have been. You know, looking back at it now, I, I don't know. I, I wanted to hurt him. I was aggravated and, and mad all the time. You know, no, I, I'm a thinker, man. I always think and, and, and go go through the fight in my head over and over again. And, and a lot of times, I would find myself like being angry at him or thinking about him. You know, I'm not fighting him who he is. I'm fighting his style of fighting. And his what he chin does. is deteriorating. Every single contest he gets in, he hits one knee. A gust of wind and he does the chicken dance. Coming up against me, that's not going to be good. I'm going to crack him with a jab and, I, and he's going to wobble and I'm going to put him away early. It's going to be a first round KO. So talented. So is Carter. Uh, their last fight I played, I've never seen it. I, I watched it actually like several weeks back again. And like how it played out, I mean, before he got hit, he clicked kind of on the Side back in the head, kind of somewhat through a punch. It was a clean punch, though, and like had a fight way out. I, I don't know exactly. Him as a tough journeyman, a guy that comes to fight, his shots are basic, and I believe this is where it comes to an end. You know, when he walks into something sharp off me, he's gonna hit the canvas hard. The thing is, as uh, as good as Poirier is, when you see the growth of Poirier and Connor versus where they were at before, uh, Poirier is. I'm not gonna say he's not a guy that doesn't get better because he certainly does get better, but I think Connor has always been good at the distance aspect, and he is a fighter that continues to get better himself. That would be cool, you know, whip Connor's silly ass and then uh, have some fish and chips and Guinness, you know, dedicate this fight to Iron. His striking's gotten a lot better. I think Connor's better than him. <laughs> Oh, my God.